I told y'all. Oh, yes. Woo, can't nobody. Can't nobody say, man, we didn't know nothing about that. No, you knew. How you know? And I told you. I told, I told the world. I didn't just tell the Awakening Remnant Coalition. I told the whole world. I got videos on it. <laughs> I told the world. I said, listen, y'all better hear me. I said, Putin is going to tell it. I said it to the world. Not just to the Awakening Remnant. I didn't say it behind closed doors. I didn't whisper it, you know, just to my staff or, or to my family. No, I came on live. I said, hey, y'all, I got to tell you something. I said, I know y'all don't believe me. But Putin about to tell it. He going to tell it. No, I'm all right. Oh, yes. Prophecy. People always ask me, man, you, how do you be seeing this stuff? How do you know this stuff? And I keep trying to tell the house of Israel, I'm a seer. That's called a prophet. See, see, we've been fooled into thinking that a prophet is some kind of fortune teller. It's not what he is. That's not a biblical prophet. A prophet is somebody who reads the Bible and ask Abaya for insight on the scripture. And then once we get insight on the scripture, we ask him to show us the text and to show us what's going on so we can help the house of Israel. Then he shows us. Then we show the house. And I showed the I showed. I, told, I made a video a uh, long time ago. And it was one of the more popular videos, which is interesting. And I put out a video where Putin was opening up a little yellow box. Now, some of y'all been following the Moray for a long time. And I said, I said, look, I know that people are trying to just uh, write this off. I just don't mean nothing. Uh, that's just Moray. There you go again. There you go again. Trying to be, uh, you know, sensational. <laughs> no, no. See, what y'all, y'all need to see something. First of all, Putin is a king. Let's just get that in our head. Putin is not like a, I, I know you say, no, he's like a prime minister or he's like a president and all that. No, y'all better hear me. And I know the wind is blowing. I don't, I don't have any protection on my phone. I had to just, I had to do it. I'm out here trying to get my mind together and meditate because I was trying to go live tonight. So now I got to say this now because on my heart. So forgive the wind noise. Uh, when you are a king and the whole entire world, in the whole entire world, there's only a few real kings uh, that have like real power and he's one of the few left. And that was acknowledged by a lot of other people. They say, man, that dude is sovereign. He basically does what he wants. So when a king makes a move, he's not like normal people. He's not like a normal person doing something. Whenever a king makes a move of a, of a nation, those, the, those movements are always in a strategic uh, way or it is in some type of defense or in some type of military way, or there is some type of national posturing. That is what kings do. And when you have a, a, a king that understands like uh, protocol and understands the kingly traditions and understands the power of, of world leadership and things like that, uh, they do everything diplomatically. It's all done it's, it's, it's done like as a diplomat it does it, it's done proper and so you just don't like just come out and say something right unless unless some kind of way you get pushed 
So I I wanted to say this. Oh, by the way, I'm Yoshiyahu Dawi. Dr. Yoshiyahu Dawi. And I am Moray here at the Awakening Remnant Coalition. If you're in the room right now, I want to just say this and shalom, shalom to you. Uh, support the art. Give to support the art. We need you. We're full time. And I got another video coming out after this one because I want to talk also about what Abaya is doing uh, with me personally and what he's doing in the ark and, and how how this thing is just beginning. The ministry is about to go global. And I'm telling you, Abaya opening eyes at the people all over the world this weekend. I, it was an opportunity to uh, to to see that. But um, I'll get to that in, in another video. And I may go live. I might do a few lives today. Okay, but going back to Putin, he's a king. And, oh, and by the way, thank you to what I read about for your support. So Putin is a king, which means that as a king and a world leader, he is privileged to information. Now, I want to share this. I have a doctorate, but because of my brown skin, I'm just a nigga with a piece of paper. I get it. <laughs> so all these hours that I've put, hundreds of thousands of hours in study and research, and I've been telling Israel, I've been telling the world, I said, the house of Israel, they're black people. And I don't use the word black. I use the word brown or I use the word golden or ruddy. All those words speak to our complexion. And hair like lambs will that talk about our hair and the texture of our hair. Whether it's loose curls or tight curls, that ain't the point. The point is we got we got hair like lamb's wool. The point is when we grow our beards out, it look like a lion's mane from the tribe of Yehuda. And I go on and on, right? So I've been telling y'all this, and I said, it's not my opinion. I've been telling you. It's not my opinion. The description of the house of Israel and the description for sure of Hamashiach. And for those of you new to the channel or sneak listening, when I say Hamashiach, your Hoshua, that's the person that the world now want to call Jesus Christ. They want to call him some European made up. It's a created satanic demonic name named after a European deity that was a demon. And I've been telling the world that. And I've been telling people, when you research it, I know you don't believe me. Because there's no way white, 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 sweet, white Jesus. No other name I know. That name is so sweet, sweet Jesus. There's no way that could be a demon. It is a demon. And the way they even spell it, it, re it refers back to a female deity, a female demon of healing. And they turn that female demon of healing male by putting a sigma on the end of the name. I've been telling y'all that forever. One day you're going to do the research. You're going to be like, man, he more was right about it again. The reason why I'm right about it is because I've researched it. It's not magic. <laughs> His name is Yahoshua and Yahoshua means that Yah is going to save his people. And who are the people? The children of Israel. And every time I tell folk that, I've been telling people, I said, the reason Putin going to tell it is because they keep pushing him. See, they all know. That's, I, I, that's another thing. Y'all going to realize that too. All the world leaders know who the real bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are, and all the world leaders know that we, according to the Holy Bible, that it was us, the house of Israel, that was put on slave ships scattered all over the world. They know that. 
And so, according to our Bible, there was a conspiracy. Y'all in the room, you know I'm telling the truth. They got together. And they said, we got to do something about Israel. Let's cut them off from being a nation. And when you read the rest of the prophecies, and you know, I'm just sitting out here trying to meditate. One of my favorite places out here all by myself. But if I was sitting there in front of my computer with all my material out, I would go down the roll on y'all on how many verses in the Bible we are told that we would lose our identity. It would be replaced. We were told that we would lose our last name. We were told that we would lose our language, but it would be replaced. And that when we woke up, we would wake up to the house of Israel and we would surname ourselves Israel. It is prophesied that when we would wake up and turn, that he would wash our sins. Oh my. Our sins would be like crimson, red, like crimson. Our, 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 our sins will be like blood stained, but he would wash them. That's in the Bible. And so, and so, when we wake up to truth, we also discover that the world would end up having to confess it. And I remember when I first started teaching, because this video, what time is it? Okay, I'm, I barely started, I'm good. Uh, th these videos that are circulating, it's so interesting. I was, I've been in med, I've been in deep meditation ever since like last week, and you all know I've been putting out videos over and over and over about the eclipse, about the Aleph, about the Tav, about the signs of the time, about the judgment on the world, and the Most High has been having me just wrapped up in this whole um, realizing how close we are to the end. Then, of course, Purim came, and then the Most High began to press on me about what it means to be faithful in such a time as this. At the same time, I had a call from somebody I hadn't talked to in years who said, man, I want to talk to you about this, what you're seeing as an Israelite. Why? Because back when he and I were together, I was still pastoring a Christian church. And since then, I ain't going to go into the, to the, to the whole story, but... Uh, since we went through our separate ways because of that, a lot of people are starting to realize, wait, hold on now. Yosh, Yosh may not be, <laughs> he, he may not have lost his mind. He might have found it. He, he may not be going off track. He may have just got on track. He, he may not be coming up with some weird doctrine. May, maybe he has discovered the actual doctrine. And maybe he's not just coming up with like, ah, you know what? Um, we ought to keep the covenant. Maybe he actually studied that and read that we're supposed to keep this covenant. And according to our covenant, the revelation of the children of Yah will be revealed in the last days. Everything that was taken from us would be returned. That's in the covenant. And that the whole world would be going through something, waiting on the manifestation of the children of Yah. That's in, the, that's in what y'all call the New Testament. In the book of Romans. Let me get some water. So, in, on this channel, we have, we have went over thousands and thousands thousands of verses and going back to the subject of this lesson I could see the signs of the times and when I saw Putin open that little yellow box I said wait 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 he oh boy he getting ready to tell it now I know we've been telling it but they don't listen to us because of our skin Use a nigger. You don't know nothing. And so we've been telling it for 10, 15 years. Hey, man. We the children of Israel. Taken from the slave coast of Yehuda and ben Amin. All of us got caught up in the slave trade and taken. We've been telling it forever. And then we've been telling it. All the people in the Bible are what y'all call black people. 
Yes, Adam. His name, Adam, means this color right here. Color of soil. They know it. We've been teaching it. I get that. But, like I said, because of slavery, we don't listen to people with this, even if they have degrees on their wall. Or well, in my case, in an old cardboard box somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather put a picture that my daughter drew or painted on my wall. My babies. I'd rather put I'd rather put something like that on my wall. But anyway, it means more to me is what I'm saying. But nevertheless, Zion as a nation is blessed to have certain people that Yah is calling that are the educated. I'm talking about earned degrees who, have, who are coming online, are coming and telling the house of Israel, hey, I'm putting my knowledge to use for you. And look, this is the results. We are the children. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about it that everything in the Bible points to us. There's not one thing that the Bible speaks about concerning the children of Israel that we don't feel 100%. We fulfill every type. Matter of fact, most of us watching me, watching me from the land of our captivity. So going back to Putin one more time. When Putin opened that little yellow box and that brown man in there and he told his he told his uh, captains, uh, colonels, whoever it was he was sending those to, to remember what they're fighting for. Oh my, I knew it. I said, oh, he about to tell it. <laughs> Cause he's in Russia. And so are a whole lot of other people who claim to be something else that they not. They're actually Russians. They're actually Germans. They're actually from the Ukraine. They're actually from Poland. Claiming that which they ought not. So Putin is their cousin. Do y'all get that? They're related to each other. They're all from the same place. Their original names are not biblical names. Their original names are like, are like Malakowski. <laughs> I know you're not going to believe it more, Ray, but if you type it in, you just might be shocked. So Putin knows and he's like, this world is going, you know, is pushing me to like, to like some kind of weird nuclear thing. And I, he's like, man, I'm out here minding my own business. And I told y'all this before. You better watch who the heathen want to make your enemy. That's not what this video is about. But you better watch that. Whoever the heathen who had you enslaved makes you have an enemy. Whoever that person is, you better watch that heathen. Because it might be something in that so-called enemy that may not really be an enemy. Maybe he just don't want you talking to him. Maybe you, he just don't want you to know what he got to say. Just like when I came to the truth of who we are and whose we are, all of a sudden you had these step and fetch it Negroes writing letters and telling people, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Who? The Moray? Yes, he's the most dangerous man in all of France, no. And I was insulted. If you're going to give me the title of the most dangerous man, you better take me out of that little old confine of, of Hicktown, Fresno. If you're going to go that far and make me the most dangerous man, won't you say in California? Won't you say in the Western region? Won't you put on the United States? If you're going to tell a lie, go on and put a 10 on a 20, a 20 on a 10, a 100 on a whatever. 
Don't listen to him. Why? Because I'm telling the people that we're Israel. Because I'm telling the people that we're in a covenant with the Most High Yah. And the covenant is still in effect. And we must turn to the covenant before his return. Because the only people he's saving are the people that are in covenant with him. He's coming to save the remnant of his covenant. His blood was for the covenant. It was to ratify the covenant. It was to satisfy Almighty Yah. Why? Because goat blood can't do it. Sheep blood can't do it. Turtle dove blood can't do it. So when I saw that Putin had opened up that little yellow box, I said, oh, okay, I see what he's doing. He's telling the rest of the world, I'm going to tell it. Y'all keep pushing me. Keep pushing me. I'm going to tell the world what they already know. I'm going to tell the world what y'all all know. I'm going to tell them the truth about who the real children of Israel are. Matter of fact, I'm going to do more than tell it. I'm going to bring out pictures. Why? As I told y'all before, Russia, according to my research so far, Russia was the only European nation that did not participate in the slave trade. Did you hear me? Russia became great and remained a superpower, not because they were great off of our back. They didn't get great beating us, whipping us, raping us, hanging us, lynching us, working us with our pay in fields, breeding us like dogs and cattle, participating in the in, in, in human trafficking. That's not how they got great. They got great by working hard. And he's been trying to tell people forever, these European nations have been lying to that poor black man. Why? Acting like they're our friend and acting like they're a superpower when if it wasn't for their slaves, that's what he would say, if it wasn't for their slaves, they wouldn't have nothing. He says, it's the sons and daughters of, their, of those slaves that make that nation great. Take away those people. They don't have no football team. They ain't got no basketball team. They ain't got no track team. They don't have no good entertainment. They won't have no music. They don't have no science. They don't have no cleanliness. They don't have manners. Take away that. They don't get a traffic light, a stop sign. Take away that. They don't get an automobile plant. Take away that. They don't have the textile industry. Take away them. They don't have preachers. Uh, and uh, teachers. Take them out. They don't know how to worship. They don't know how to pray. They don't know how to read the Bible like it's supposed to be read. Take them out. And he said, it's a shame how they treat them after the nation was built on their back. I'm gonna mention another person y'all don't like. I'm gonna mention Drum. Yes, I said Drum. Drum said, blacks built this nation. And they said, oh, you can't say it like that. He said, what do, you, what do you mean I can't say it like that? They did. They built this nation. Now, before you say I'm lying, Google it. Trump said, yeah, the blacks built this nation. And then he got up and held up a sign that said, we need to mark the 400 year that we had in, in slavery here. Now, when he did that, I want you guys to follow my thinking and not don't get a knee jerk reaction. Remember, to, in the Bible, all national leaders are kings.
Okay? So no matter what you call him, whether it's prime minister, president, whatever, in the scriptures, a national leader is a king. So while he ruled as king, he made a declaration concerning the 400 years, which did what? It sealed the prophecy. So if there was no other reason for him to get in office, he did two things. He confessed to the world what should have been told. We built the country. And number two, he said, and we had them for 400 years in captivity. And watch this. We still in captivity. So now they don't, so now they don't pushed. They done pushed that young. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. They done pushed uh, Pooty Poo. They done pushed Putin over the edge. Now, I ain't gonna be in this room much longer. But if y'all can see the more right and hear me all right and understand what I'm talking about when I say we have been telling y'all that. Uh, let's see, let's just jump straight in. Put a 500,000 and let me, let me get closer so I can look and see if anybody put a 500,000 in here. Yes, who's that? Margaret, Alicia. Woo, they moving fast now. Hallelujah. I see the 500,000 rolling. And then on top of that, oh, good to see you, Z, in the room. And then on top of everything that DeMore just said, we got an eclipse coming. <laughs> Where the moon is going to stay in front of the sun until it come up through Texas, go across the whole United States and exit in the north, the far northern part next to Canada, which will complete not just the Tower, which is the covenant, but it will also complete the Aleph. So now you got the Aleph Tower. I want you to think about this. We got the wars and let's go back. We got the wars and rumors of war. No, let's go back farther. We got the declaration of the 400 years. Then we have all of the natural and uh, uh, disasters that happened here. The world went through two years of having to be masked up. There was pestilence in the land. Whole world went to changes. We come up out of that to some of the worst human conditions we've ever seen in our life. When we look at the crisis on our streets, the degradation of our major cities, we look at the down road, the downward spiral of our society as we know it. We look at economic crisis. We look at Wars and rumors of war. And every time it seems we turn on the television, another current event. And here I am, a voice. I'm hollering. Hey, y'all. We got to get in this book. We got to turn back to our king. It's not what, it's not what you think. <laughs> We've been lied to. Oh, surprise, surprise, surprise. The man that had you in captivity lied to you. Oh, what a surprise. The man that was beating you and raping us and using us and built a nation off our back and still refused to do anything by way of reparation, he lied to you. Surprise, surprise. Our Savior ain't named no Jesus. He is not some white European uh, Italian named Cesar Borgia. Surprise, surprise. The people of the Bible are black folk. That's what they would use that term. Surprise, surprise. Yes, the slave ships brought us over to the Americas, to a land that we've never been to, to a language that we did not know, un under the hand of a people who did not have respect for the old or the young, male or female. Surprise, surprise. 
that you was never taught that growing up. And when you start adding, and like I said, as you can see, I'm in my place of meditation. If I was in my studio and I had a list and we were able to add up all of those things and I was able to illustrate it for, the, for Zion and then add on that what just happened with Putin. Where's he from? Russia. Where are the people who are claiming to be us mainly from? Russia. Y'all said, I'm going to make them do it. <laughs> no. He said, yeah. The same ones that's trying to be you. I'm going to make them confess that no, it ain't really them. It's you. I loved you. And so when the Moray came out with that, the, the reason why, the reason why I could see it is because I know the, I know the Bible. I know that 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 is a prophecy, and that prophecy has to come to pass because the Bible don't lie. The Bible don't lie. The Bible does not lie, and everything is falling in place. It's all falling in place. Now, look. Putin just didn't tell it. Let me tell you what he did. Again, remember, he's a king. So the way he's going to do things is always going to be kingly. He said, open the vaults. Wait, no. Nah. Y'all heard me. Open the vault. No, but we can't open those vaults. They got open those vaults. You know what's in those vaults? So y'all be thinking, what's in the vault? That's so, so, so earth, that's so uh, earth shattering. What's in the vault? Open the vault. And the world thinks that when he opens the vault, he's going to have some trigger to a nuclear bomb. He's going to have some kind of thing that's going to blow up the planet. It's going to Unleash havoc all over the world when he say, open the vaults. We're going to reveal it. And everybody want to know, is he going to reveal another Satan bomb? Is he going to reveal another terrible? <laughs> Who's Pooty say? Open the vaults. Open it. Yes! That we've had under lock and key. Yes! Where the oldest depictions of the children of Israel on earth is kept. We got them. Brother, there are no pictures on earth. I want you to think about the whole entire planet earth. There are no pictures of us older which means every picture of the house of Israel that you've ever seen, you saw something after these pictures that they've had in these vaults. After. What are you looking at now? The oldest. Which means you, the next to this is the original. Oldest depiction. Nothing older. And look. The way Yah had him do it. Well, I, I don't have to, I don't necessarily want to use this word, but I'm going to use it anyway. The way Yah had him do it was so funky. <laughs> oh, she more, where my water go? Oh, the way he had him do it was so funky. That's funky, ain't it? That's funky. Y'all keep pushing me. Y'all get the keys. What keys? The keys to the vault. Yeah, but we all went into, we all agreed that we were going to never, hey, I'm the king. God dang it. But, but we're all in this, uh, we all agreed, right, that we would never tell this. I say it. Get the keys to that vault. Yes, them keys. Yes, the one, yes, the keys that got the mark on it that say, only use in case of dire emergency when you have no other option 
Yeah. You gotta you gotta go and break glass and 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 put fingerprints and eye prints and all that to get into the vault. Yeah. And then when you go behind the vault, there is no weapon of mass destruction. There is no disease he getting ready to let loose on humanity. No, there is no uh, bomb named Lucifer back there. None of that. What? You go in there and you open that vault. <laughs> and it's pictures. That's funky. Woo! That's funky. Why? Because pictures speak louder. They speak louder than, than words. Open the vault. I ain't got to say nothing. Open the vault. Well, them heathen would open that vault. <laughs> Some of them didn't even know what was in there. Boy, they start pulling out pictures. Watch this. Had gold leaf. <laughs> what? Yeah, real gold. They start pulling out pictures that was that was made uh, not just with not just with paint now. No, 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 no. They they had uh, mosaics. And then the heathen say, "It's fake. <laughs> you a lie. You fake." <laughs> well, it doesn't change anything. Oh, it changed everything. It ain't gonna make no difference. Oh my. Goodness, it do. It look. Listen to me, you heathens. Y'all can say whatever you want. It make all the difference in the world. See now, when I talk to my daughter, and I say, "Hey, baby, look. This is the oldest picture of our people. You see, we a royal priesthood. You see Moses. You see Elijah. You see Abraham." Don't look at them pictures no more that you that you see in them white folk. Them pictures came way later. These are the earliest pictures we have on planet Earth. Y'all think it don't make a difference? Oh my goodness, it make a difference. <laughs> if y'all know it make a difference, put an 800,000. Let me get out this room. Put an 800,000. We live. Y'all in the room with me? We live. Put an 800,000. It make all the difference in the world. Now, I, oh, I wish I could face them preachers who wrote them letters against me 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Oh, I wish they would. Hey, look, I ain't heard a peep. <laughs> they ain't wrote me. They ain't said, man, I'm sorry. We didn't know. Not, not one apology. That's why I say they're going to hell. It's really sad. Why go to hell when you can apologize? Because you can't go to hell unrepentant. You know that. You got to repent. But they have not called me. I say, man, we was ignorant. We should have listened to you when you told us that the children of Israel was our ancestors. We should have listened when you told us that Yahushua was a so-called black man. We should have listened when you tried to tell us we were in a covenant. Why? Because now a white man told you. But the way he told you was so funky. He told you without telling you. He just said, open the vault. We're going to put this argument to rest once and for all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're going to stop all this. So they opened the vault. And yeah, I, gotta, I ain't going to stay in it too much longer. But after they opened the vault, it wasn't one. It wasn't two. It wasn't three pictures. It wasn't just like five pictures. Yo, when he <laughs> when he opened that vault, I, I, it's been a few days. I think they still taking pictures out of there. They estimated that there may be in circulation, 500,000. 
Did you hear the move, Ray? <laughs> Did you hear the move, Ray? And they said it's probably more. But of course, during war and then people trying to whitewash everything, they've been destroyed. It's a floodgate of pictures. And them heathens. I got, you know, sometimes I do wish I was in the studio because I'll be taking still frames just to show y'all the look on their face. Them heathens to get a chance to go because they're moving out of the vault and they're putting them in the museum, open it to the whole, to the public. So that anybody can now go there. Matter of fact, I might go and I have promised myself I would never go into Russia. I said, man, it's, I, you know, y'all know the moon ray. I can't hardly go back to New York. It's so cold. And Chicago. Although I got to go. I'm just making a point. Y'all know I don't like the cold. But I want to go just to see them heathens' face. Well, there was, there was one frame where these heathens had a micro, had like a, a magnifying glass. And they was trying to look at the pictures up close like. This one lady had like a spank face on her. She was like, <laughs> trying to find. <laughs> she was trying to find. She was trying to find fault in the picture. She, she was looking through. I wish I had. Some, she said. <laughs> she was looking. She was looking through, through that magnifying. She was like. What you looking at, heathen? <laughs> Everything on her inside. <laughs> Boy, she fulfilling prophecy to the letter. She said, we have inherited lies. But she didn't know the verse. She didn't know, the, she didn't know that passage. She didn't know what to do. She just looking through her little thing. She, What you looking for? It ain't gonna get no lighter. <laughs> They're not gonna get no lighter, heathen. They're not gonna turn into white Cesar Borgia images, heathen. <laughs> no, no, your Sunday school book and your Southern Baptist pastor and all them liars who gonna have their place in the lake of fire, they lied to you. <laughs> I'm like, what is she looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta go. But I told y'all, and the way he did it was funky. And now, in these United States, do you know they have not yet ran this as a major story in the world? And that's something. Every other newscast has picked it up, but now they're trying to squash it. But it already hit. It already hit the dark web. It already hit YouTube. It already hit. Uh, you know, Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat, it's, it's all over now. And, and Putin knew it was going to go, he knew that. That's why I said the way he revealed it was funky. The truth of the matter is, if it wasn't true, there shouldn't be, there shouldn't be one picture. But the fact that he said that the preservation of the historical truth concerning these people was important to him. Therefore, he, as the leader of Russia, never ordered the whitewashing of those images. Mm -mm. He said, no, we got to keep the integrity of the people, of the artists who made these pictures. And like I said, y'all, it's thousands of them. It proves something. Once again, we about to go home. We about to enter into the new year. We about to enter into um, the uh, this eclipse that's coming. Um, we already started talking about, we, we dealing in the, in the times of the 400 years. We got the captivity. And then we got the wars and rumors of war. We got all that stuff going. And now the revelation of the house of Israel, the true house of Israel, which we've been hollering about a long time. It means our king is about to come. Yeah, because he said I would make them tell it. And the way he told it, open the vault. And look, I think I told y'all, I just got back from Stanford University. 
Well, I saw the maps. Original. Uh, ooh, it's too much. But Zion, if y'all know the Moray took our little time and shared what y'all love, and that is the truth, <laughs> and you appreciate this work, put a one million in the chat, please. Let me get one more drink of water. Taught our rebar for the administrators came in, and all of you, my father's children, put a one million. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it in time, but I would like to do a live tonight. I'd like to do another live tonight. Um, I, I, I'm gonna try. I, I gotta get back to the house and see if I can get things together before it gets too late. But I would like to do another live. If you all appreciate these messages, if you appreciate the work of the ark, and if you appreciate the uh, the dedication to truth that we have tried to put forth, because we're full time, support the ark. If you haven't supported in a while, give some support today. And some of you are our regular supporters, and we appreciate that. But wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody who benefited from the work of the ark? Uh, participated in giving and supporting the art because I think it's just fair that if we're giving all we have then those who are being blessed ought to give just some of what they have and we can continue to do this until the king comes and based on what's happening in the world it won't be long it looks like the handwriting is yet on the wall. So, uh, just like I told y'all, who I'm gonna tell it, he's telling it now. Those pictures are open and look, it's gonna be more pictures. It's gonna be more evidence. And watch, there are gonna be some other kings. What, what are they doing? Trying to get in the real kingdom. No. What do you mean? No. They know got they got a responsibility in these last days. Yeah. You don't think you don't think that Putin is concerned for his soul? You don't think that he knows that time is winding up and he's about to meet the real king? He like, well, let me get at least one one or two good things on my jacket before I go meet the real king, the king of kings. Let me stand before him and at least be able to tell him. Hey, I told him to open them vaults. I, that's what I did. I, I, I didn't do a whole lot, I guess. I just did what I could. I told him to open them vaults and show the real pictures. Not the copies. We've been having them. I've even used some of those video, some of those images in some of my videos. Those of you who've been with the with the a long time know. I did a whole thing on those video, on those pictures, but that was out of a, a those were copies out of a book. Those were not the ones that were in the vaults. So maybe that's what he's doing. And maybe there are others. But, but I do know this. Uh, everybody should be trying to turn to that covenant. And everybody should be trying to get it right with the king. Because he's coming back. Just like he said he would. And he's coming back for the remnant of the house of Israel, those that keep the commandments of Yah and the covenant of Yehoshua Hamashiach and the, and the companions. One love Zion until we meet again. Hopefully I'll try to get up and do something tonight. I hope I can get, if I don't, it'll be tomorrow for sure. But if, if I can get, ooh, we, we need to talk. We need to talk. One love, one love always. And just remember, I told y'all, I told the world that Putin was going to tell it. And he told it. Hallelujah.